Four must go. Canada looking to continue the onslaught. USA looking to gain some momentum after one break. Fighters square off, touch off, and here we go. Oh, big right hand by Hastings. Jake is throwing some leather, West. Yes, he is, man. Mark, Hollywood did a great job. He kind of used his um, momentum against him, making a turn into that game. Great job, Jake's doing for the standing gears. up this cage. Hastings has his back against the cage. Hollywood's driving, but he's got to try to get his head free. Hollywood's doing the right thing. He's going to try to get a big power slam. Jake still got his neck, though. He still got his neck. He still got his neck, though. If he turns him into the cage, he'll have a chance of finishing this thing. Yeah, he I has think that guillotines are very difficult to finish, Wes. Yeah, I've especially been a, with your back against the cage. I've been a couple of those guillotines, Master Gathers. It doesn't feel well. Well, Jake's doing a great job. He's throwing knees while he's applying the pressure. Jake actually is lifting him off of his feet with this guillotine. Yes, he is. Jake has the takedown. He down. uses it as a takedown. He still got it from the mount position. This thing's going to be deep and tight by now. Jake has to be careful not to time himself out too hold And he has to also be careful that he doesn't get rolled to his left side because he's kind of trapping himself by keeping that arm around the neck. That would be the way to go. For and Marcus that's exactly Jake. what happened. And there it is. Honey Great foreshadowing. He's on top. Gathers. He's got to pop his neck out, though. And this takes a tremendous amount of energy to be able to um, hold this. So if Hastings can get his head out, he may be a little bit fresher because I'm thinking that Jake's kind of gassing his arms out right now. I must agree with you because he's had that guillotine on a while. At some point, his arms will have to start to tire. So I've seen Jake fight before. He fought David Ford a few years ago for our organization. And let me tell you something. They fought three hard rounds. Jake's an independent fighter, but let me tell you, he comes in prepared and conditioned. Not David Ford out in the third round with a heavy left and right hand. He also has great submission transitions. So I'm interested in seeing what's going to happen in this fight. And he still has that guillotine, man, guys. He still hasn't let it go nearly two minutes into the fight. He's got to be careful, though, because once your arms are on somebody's neck, they can sweep you on that side because you don't have the ability to post your arm and stop the sweep. That's probably what Jake's looking for. He's giving us a little Showtime action, punching backwards behind himself. We've never seen that before. He's still holding the guillotine. He has him in a half mount. Wes, did you notice that these fights are all ending by knockout or submissions? It's a great car. I, I, made, I made that note early, Master Gallons. Every MMA fight, as I noted earlier, the judges haven't even necessarily been needed as every MMA fight has been a finish. These not judges can finish. sit back and enjoy one of those $10 pitches of beer, maybe, because they're not working tonight. Yeah, these guys they're, are landing on the line. They're not needed at all. Not only have they not been needed, all of them have been first rounds. Huh? Ten seconds left in round one. How fresh do you think Jake's going to be in round two? Only time. We're going to have to see. He held that cardio in a minute. He's throwing some vicious Oh, man. Out. Hollywood barely pulled that one out. We're on the round two, folks. This is the first time we've ever seen round two in MMA boxing now. As noted, the previous all MMA cards have all been first round finishes. So this is the first time Matt Jazz has been a fight has even seen the second round. We haven't, we haven't seen any test of cardio or any. Because these fighters have been bringing tonight. They've been finishing. They want to go home early. Let me ask you this question. How are you feeling about these three title fights for the next edition? Oh, I'm excited about the title fights. If the title, if the previous fights are any indication of the title fights, I'm expecting a pure barn burner. I'm excited for this action going on tonight. Isaiah Gavings and Wesley Scott sitting back and playing this action here. We're getting ready to see round two, Wesley. Yes, this has been a great fight. Action Pack Fight brought to you by Elite Federation Fighters, who always goes to bring you some of the most exciting fights in Michigan. Both of these guys look a little bit gassed, yes, but I'm actually surprised at how fresh Jake looks from it have held that guillotine for almost half a round one. Yes, he held it all oh, the time. That was a super no, 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 shot I, by Hollywood. It's kind of weak, though. Jake. He's going for the single leg. Jake needs to spawn his left leg back a little bit harder than that. Then he can spin around and transition to the quarter position or maybe his back. There it is. And there it is. Okay, again, great call, Matt Gallons. He spin around, takes oh, the transition. Now God, he has a full mount dropping bombs on it. Vicious ground and pound. He's got to do something. This is going to be over. He's giving up his back. He has a hook in. I think this oh, is over. Oh, Yep, this is over with, sir. This is over with. Another finish. That was the first fight that we see in the second round, but it didn't last long until the second round. 